Organic chemists use a code to represent molecular structures. You're going to learn how to read it. This molecule is ibuprofen. Hoping you recognize that name. Uh, you've probably taken it. It's like aspirin. It has 13 carbons, 18 hydrogens, 2 oxygens. When you look at this picture, the 2 oxygens are visible. But the 13 carbons are completely invisible. So, we, when you look at that structure, every vertex, every corner is a carbon. So here's a carbon. And here's another carbon. And here's another carbon. And here's another. So every corner is a carbon. Also these ends, those are carbons as well. And this wedge leading up to looks like nothing, there's a carbon there. Let's count them. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13 carbons are now visible in the structure. Let's try to find 18 hydrogens. To do that, you need to recognize that every carbon makes four covalent bonds. This one here, you can see, has one, two, three, four bonds. So it's done. This one here is one, two, three, so it needs a fourth bond. So it has a fourth bond to hydrogen. It's going to go back behind. There's a hydrogen there. How about this one on the top? It has only one bond so far, this wedge here, which means it must have three additional bonds. They're all to hydrogen. I'm now on this carbon right here. Two bonds here, because that's a double. One bond here, one bond here. It's got four. How about this one down here? It's got a double on the top. It's got a single to the left, meaning room for one more hydrogen right here. So, when we do that, you'll find there are room for 18 hydrogens. There they are, 3, 4, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18. This structure is now filled in with all its atoms clearly shown. And this is something you can build with your three-dimensional model kit and find its true beautiful structure when you do that. So in summary... Every corner is a carbon, and every carbon needs four bonds. So if you don't see enough bonds, add hydrogens to fill in the carbons. So from this flat picture, build it in three dimensions using the model kit, and then you'll see the true structure of ibuprofen. After that, it says choose your favorites so you've got 18 choices on here you can't do all of them in this period just choose a few that catch your interest and that will be suitably challenging for your skill level you may also find it easy to figure out where the hydrogens go on the three-dimensional model so every carbon needs four bonds that means there should be no empty holes on the carbon atom Oxygens will have a couple empty spots and nitrogens will have one empty spot but carbon should have no empty spots. So when you see this carbon then you know gotta fill that spot. That's a molecule.